Hey guys, I'm going to show you where the water heater bypass is on a Keystone Razorback travel trailer. Um, don't mind my light in the background, it's just my flashlight on my forehead. Um, now I'm not saying every single one of them is going to be underneath here, but most of them on the Keystone Razorbacks, when they have a certain floor, specific floor plan, they'll all be in the same location. Just remember, it's always usually in the area behind the water heater. So this one's right outside the window by the entry door which equals to right underneath the stove here. Um, they have a microwave below the stove top on this one. And there's just four screws in this little service panel. Got a square tip screwdriver here, if you can really see it there. You can take these four screws out. First time. I don't have anybody to hold my camera today, but I know people are interested in where these locations are. Because you have to turn this on when you winterize your RV. So this should help quite a few people who are the do-it-yourselfers. Take that panel and that screw still got a little bit on there still. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick pull. It's hard to hold the camera and work. Okay, it's off there. And back here, you'll see this is the back side of the water heater on a Keystone Razorback. Um, I don't know if you guys can see very good. Light my light up there a little bit. There we go. So, on this particular one, it has three valves. One on the bottom, one in the middle, one on the top. A lot of them are like this. But that doesn't mean yours will be exactly like this. Just remember, you want to turn off the hot, and you want to turn off the cold, and then you open the bypass. And that allows water to come through this pipe, up, and back around. This keeps water out, out of your water heater during the winter because you want your water heater empty during the winter months because it'll freeze up. So now after winter, say springtime, it's time for springtime travel. Open this valve, which this being the cold, and you open the top, which is the hot. So this is the intake, this is the outtake, and then you close the bypass valve. If you don't close this bypass valve, you'll find that you'll have lukewarm water some people will be like, yeah, my water's lukewarm. And it's because this bypass valve is open, allowing cold and hot water to mix together. So you want to make sure that's close. This one's opened. This one's open. It's ready for use. And that's pretty much everything you need to know for the bypass on the Keystone Razorback. Um, any questions, please feel free to comment. Like I said, sorry, I was the only person that was holding the camera and having to do the work. Usually I have somebody hold it for me. But I hope this helps someone. And uh, safe travels, guys. Until my next video, have a good trip.